And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Final frame is underway here. Cheryl, 40 minutes into books now played. How do you view this one? Minnesota's got to get the puck, James. I mean, to put it in layman's term, one, you got to get the puck, two, you got to score. They're not doing either. Hooks a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Oh, great reflex pad stopped by Markstrom. Lindholm's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Calgary's got the win off that draw. And we've got a fight. Yeah, the physical engagement here has been off the charts, and the discipline has to maintain itself, but a good toe-to-toe -to -toe fight sends a message. And ding, ding, it's all over. Yeah, the bell has rung, and he certainly got his dung. They make their way over to the penalty box, still chirping one another. You can see that it was testy out there, but they'll go back to the box and they'll sit for five. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Calgary's won the defensive zone draw. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And they get it out. Time ticking away here on this man advantage. Keeping it simple and creating some speed, but they have to gain entry fast. Takes a shot. Oh, a clutch save. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Calgary's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. Kanjiapani's up and ready to get back on the ice. And he takes the feed. Minnesota's still trailing in this one as their power play fails to capitalize. Gustafson's got the puck, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Well, and this is a huge play right here, just recognizing the tempo of the game and being able to dictate it. He's done it all night. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Calgary's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Spurgeon's lugging the puck. From the right side, takes the pass. And skilled use of the stick to pump the puck away. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Fires it! Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Spurgeon's moving the puck through his own zone. And it's a quick pass to Kaprizov. Calgary's got the puck. Peltier's gained the line and on the attack. Missed the net. Just caught a little too much air on that one. Yeah, and a lot behind it as well. When you're... Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and... Recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. And hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Here we go. Pucks in deep. Picked up along the boards by Lindholm. Shot. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Using the net for cover. The Flames gain possession along the wall. Taken by Mangiapane. Back in with intention. And that somehow stayed out of the net. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And look at this. All oh, sorts of pressure here building. Oh, what a save on the play. All oh, sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. And that misses the net. And it's picked up along the boards. Moves it over to the corner. Oh, monstrous hit right there. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Quick pass to the Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Well, they have the lead and now.
they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play's going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be the task. Another chance here on the man advantage. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. The frozen risk gets dropped, and we are back underway here. And he takes the dish. He got all of that hit. And sends it just out of reach. There's the whistle stopping the play and allow him to get off the ice and get a much needed breather here. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, each team is gonna lose a player here. It's gonna be an offsetting call. Minnesota's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that you see typically. So they got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Dished on over to Polino. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And the puck clears the zone. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. I was never expected to score, James, so this never really bothered me. I was always on the defensive side of it. But listen, the goaltenders had to make some huge save. Everyone's talking about the chances. How about the tenders and their positioning and the ability to move within the net? Let's see what the officials are calling. Three penalties in one period. You gotta stay disciplined. And what it does is it disrupts the flow of your bench. Only your PKers are getting out of there. They'll play some four-on-four. Four. On a four-on-four, four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. Scooped up along the wall by Coleman. <laughs> Calgary's on the attack. Moves it to Anderson. And that shot dies in traffic. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Great pass from the left wing. Puck scooped up by Kaprizov. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Puck dumped in. Taken along the wall by Eriksson Ek. Good use of the body on the play. Quick feed to Middleton. Takes the shot. Turned aside with the glove by Markstrom. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. The Bolts are the final foe on this home stretch, and then they'll pack their bags and head out on the road. Gaudreau sliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Calgary's won the draw. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. And as both teams are now back at even strength, the power play goes over on the opportunity. Blocked in traffic. Picked up along the wall by Kadri. Takes the feed. Fires it on net. Great save by Gustafson. They are really feeling it now here in the Ozone. Moving with it here in the offensive end. have talent they have to have mobility they have to be able to track the puck but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot and that's exactly what happens here out battling out willing and you make the save a big draw looming here in the offensive zone Johansson's won the face off and now it's grabbed by Goligoski and that's knocked away puck grabbed by Rusichka Forces the turnover. Grabbed along the board by Rusichka. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Calgary's got the puck against the boards. Oh, it stops it again. Zadorov signed the penalty boxes up, and he's got to get back to just finding his place within the... Scores! It always 
amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter. But what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. Late goings of this period. The Flames now lead by two. Minnesota's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Here's a short pass to Kaprizov. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. No room for that one to get through. Moves it quickly over to Kaprizov. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. The Flames have it now. And change is coming up front as the puck is sent in deep. Oh, he got cuddled by Gustafson. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. In desperate need of a goal here, they've got the extra attacker out. Looking fires to the empty net. The score! Yeah, and this one will all but seal the deal, James. A real insurance marker and a game well fought and a win well earned. Empty net goal went in. Everyone on the bench and on the ice knew that that put the game to bed. Calgary's all but got this thing wrapped up here late in the third. They have capitalized on many scoring chances tonight. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Gets it over to Lindholm. Hard hit, freeze up the puck. Stomps him with the blocker. And that will close the book on this one here tonight. And you can chalk up another victory for a team that is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, I mean, they've got a winning streak going, and, and anytime you have something like that going, you just feel like you're going to win when you step onto the ice and you're confident, you got swagger, and everything seems to be clicking. Got to love, and you got to really embrace when it feels like that. Well, that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. See ya.